What's up, what it do, what it is? It's your boy Heavy Yacht over here with the biz, and welcome back to another installment of Pokemon Showdown. Uh, this is the installment we still have. You know, I'm gonna count. I, I got fucking like two forfeits in the last installment. I took a loss. I took an L, like meat meal this year. But I also uh got I'm, I got two more two more forfeits, so I'm gonna count it as a win. I mean, two forfeits gotta equal something. So three wins. We need two more before we can take this team to VGC. And uh, yeah, nothing else to say. Let's go ahead and jump to a battle. So here we are with our first battle with 091, and he has a pretty scary team, especially that Clefairy, Clefable. I'll never remember. It's fucking Clefable. Uh, Clefable was probably one of the scariest Pokemon on his team, but I I'm pretty sure we can handle it. I actually might want to save Sky Reaper for Clefable. We'll, tr we'll try to save Sky Reaper for Clefable, and actually lead off with Sky Reaper either way to get the rocks up, because rocks are going to be clutch. There's the Balloon, probably going with the Sleep Powder. Probably going to go for the Sleep Powder. I could Brave Bird and fuck his whole life up. I could just fuck his whole life up like I'm putting him on child support. But uh, let's go for the Stealth Rocks. I was going to, I was pre actually predicting, uh, um, uh, Spore. Spore put me to sleep. But he actually switched out, so that's fine with me. Let's go on to someone who can eat up. Not even eat up, but at least, you know, not die from <laughs> uh, a fire-type attack. Some of you say, wouldn't say Dr. Kill, but Dr. Kill's defenses are diarrhea. Uh, we got Uncle Bad Touch. Uncle Bad Touch might actually scare him off with an earthquake of my own. And there's the Lava Plum. Okay, we did not eat that up. Hmm. Uh, we can predict him to switch. Do we? Wait a minute. For the he probably outspeeds. I'm about to kill off my uh, Uncle Bad Touch that quick. Zero ninety one, please switch out for the love of God. Switch out. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Let's go on hips on lie. What I probably should have done in the first place. Now this should scare him out. If not, he's getting roared the fuck out either way. There we go, that's what I like to see. Probably running HP Grass. No, they run no, yeah, right. HP Grass. Or Grass Knot? Something like that. I could freely just go for Earthquake because he doesn't have anybody that uh has levitate or is even resisted for that. Well Balloon kinda of resisted. So let's go for an Earthquake. He's gonna switch out, of course, into Conkelder. Conkelder gonna eat up an Earthquake? He kinda is gonna eat up an Earthquake. And I'm probably gonna um, you know he might go for an Ice Punch. Ice Punch might be a thing. Oh, wait. I want to go for Toxic? But he's probably Guts. No, if he was Guts, then as soon as he switched... Did I switch him or the Earthquake? He switched out. As soon as he switched out, he would have took the Flame Orb or Toxic or Damage or whatever he's running. So, I'll actually go for the uh, Toxic. I, I, I just knew it was going to miss. Why did I know it was going to miss? Fuck it, we'll go for another Earthquake. Or, we're going to Roar. Yeah, let's get this guy up out of here. Oh, I should have Earthquaked. Goodbye, Conkeldior. Hopefully into someone who, okay, this this is what I want to see. Oh, fucking blue air balloon, I see what you're doing. Let's get this guy out of here. Some of you think I'm probably making the stupidest plays right now, but you know, I, I play for fun. And there's the bird. I'm dead. Hey, there's Balloon. I play for fun, so you know it is what it is. Uh, Balloon's tail looks oddly phallic. Looks like a, a, a penis that contracted some type of disease. Um, let's go on to. He's probably close combat or mock punch or something like that. I don't want to send. Cause if I, I I'm, I'm afraid he's gonna put someone to sleep, and I don't want Star Out to go to. Oh shit! Goddamn. Stealth Rocks. I don't want Star Raptor to go to sleep. I should probably be running Roost on Star Raptor as well if I'm running Cotton Guard. That be you know what? This is OU. After this battle, I'm gonna go change up my team to just make it annoying. Just as just just that's just how I feel about OU. Uh we can go for the Cotton Guard. Maybe straight up go for the Dragon Pulse. Let's go for the Attract. Why not? I, I, I knew that was coming. I just knew it was coming. So actually, since 
um, he's put to sleep. I, well, she's put to sleep. I can actually freely go out into Sky Reaper. Yeah. Pursuit. Or iron. He's probably, he's probably going to go for the protect. So, let's go for the iron hit. <laughs> Never mind. And she flinched. Look at that. Fucking Clefable. Uh... I think Heat Train resists Iron Head times four. I believe. Let, let's let's. Cause if she goes for the, she's not gonna go for the wish. She could either protect, which I'm, you know, she's either gonna protect or switch out. Over these predictions really fucked me up. She's either gonna protect or switch out, so pursuit would be, you know, fine with me either way. If she goes for an Iron Head. I mean, if she goes for a wish and I fucking go for a pursuit, I'm fucked. So let's just go for Iron Head. I mean, it's not gonna hurt either. Okay, good for me. Holy shit, Skarmory, I'll spend something. Look at that. Congratulations. Alright, so Heatran comes back out and both of my Earthquake users are dead. Um. Uh, Clefable's dead, too, so I don't really. I would say I don't see a reason to keep Skarmory in, but it's kind of stupid to think. That's kind of a stupid thing to say. Hmm. I don't know why I haven't sent Robocop out to battle yet. Uh, let's go for a Brave Bird. So he goes for the Lava Plume. I, sh I, I didn't, honestly didn't think it was going to kill, but I guess in the back of my mind, I kind of knew it was going to kill. Um, Robocop doesn't really have anything for this guy. Did he kill both of my Earthquake users? You were just there. Well, I'm pretty sure y'all speed. Yeah, you shit all speed. Let's, let's go on uh, Dr. Kill. Get a superpower off. All right, so I was gonna switch out probably in. Oh, I was gonna. I, I thought I was gonna switch out to Alakazam, but that's fine for me too. You know, get that guy up out of here. And uh, mock punch is a thing. Fuck the choice scarf. He's probably uh, mock punching. And a mock punch after a superpower. Yeah, that's definitely gonna kill. So let's switch out to heaven. Predicting a mock punch. There it is. Eating. Uh. Well, not really, but not really, whatever. Um. He's really saving that heat trick. Let's go for a hyper voice. He's of course he's gonna switch out. Oh, and Alakazam though. Alakazam though. Uh, Alakazam is probably gonna fuck me up when I wake up. Well, before I wake up, before I can even get an attack. Also, we'll just keep trying to go for a hyper voice. Dazzling gleam. <sighs> I see. Do I speed? No, probably not. Well, we can go on. Uh, go on to uh, Robocop. See how you like a couple of thunderbolts, Alakazam. I'm pretty sure I can live at least. Oh, signal beam. I guess they're pretty much the same. I don't know. Let's go for a signal B. I'm pretty sure I can... Never mind. I was gonna say, I'm pretty sure I can live one attack from Alakazam, unless it's Focus Blast. Let's go on Dr. Kill. Uh, good game. 091. Good game. Uh, let's go for a knockoff. Fucking Krona and Choice Scarf is fucking useless. Was this the first battle? I'm not even 100% sure. No, no, down. I'm about to go change my team. So, not change the team up, but like, you know, switch a little bit of moves around. I'm not sure if this is the first or last battle. All right, here we are, guys, with our second. <sighs> oh, what the hell? This nigga got the nerve to put the time on me, and he's rocking four Pokemon. Two of them aren't even evolved. You know what? Whatever. This is OU. Whatever. Uh. The awful hips don't lie. I guess I should let him know. Because, I mean, this is going up. Well, I don't know. Depending on how the battle goes. But I guess I'll still let him know. So what I want to go for now is probably an Earthquake. He's rocking agility. This Spinarek is, uh... Never mind. Never mind. I was like, he, he might have a plan up his season. He might have uh, something in that those blue streaks of hair he had. So out comes the A-Palm, probably gonna... I don't even feel comfortable with this battle. I really want to forfeit. I really don't feel comfortable with this battle. <sighs> Earthquake. There's a fake out. I kind of knew that was coming. But, I mean, like... I just really don't feel comfortable with this battle.
Oh, he goes to the nasty plot. I don't think he's living though. Oh wait, there's a. Oh, you. I thought he was rocking the um. The Evie light, but he's actually rocking citrus berry. You know what? Oh, he goes to baton pass. Probably he has two fire types. I'm going for earthquake. This is just wrong. And out comes the Arcanine. You no, know what? Nah. Amber Palm. Bring that out. Uh, Arcanine gets outrage? Holy shit. Amber Palm, bring that ass here, boy. I want you. Let's go for Thunder Fang. What does this mean? Revenge? Record? What? I'm recording for YouTube. What does he mean, revenge? I know. I, I, I have nothing against you, my man. You've done nothing to me. What's this going on over here? Kimato wants to. Am I already battling him? I'm already battling him. Let's accept. Let's see what goes on. Did he come back with an official team? He came back with an official team. This bitch. Alright, so I guess we'll leave out of this battle in. Oh, wait. There it is. He wants to try to wreck me with this team. Okay. I see. I see what you're trying to do. Uh. I'm not rocking defog, which I really should be. Recording? Good luck! Shut the fuck up! Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm recording. Uh, so who are we gonna lead off with? So I guess we gonna have an official. What the hell is that about? Kick, three motto, or Kik Ma Kiki motto. If you're watching this, leave a comment on what the hell those four Pokemon were about, because you're not the first one to do that. You're not the first one to come into a battle with one, two, three, well, not even the full team of six. And I've always wondered why. I understand you're testing a team, but why? You know, whatever. Just. If you're watching the video, leave a comment on why you did that. Uh. Hmm. Hmm. Let's level Dr. Kill. Predicting the Mammoth Swine. Predicting the Mammoth Swine. Uh, we can either go for a superpower or not. He's probably rocking the Focus Sash. Probably rocking. Yeah, he's definitely rocking the Focus Sash. Let's go for a superpower either way. Probably want to get the Stealth Rocks up. I really, really should have probably put Defog on uh, Skarmory. He just put a link into... NIGGA! That didn't even bring him down to the Sash. There's Stealth Rocks, I outspeed. Uh, I mean, it's Rocks, I mean, Mammoth Swan is usually only used for Rocks. I really want to click on this, but I'm kind of in a battle right now, so... I guess I'll click on it. Who's coming out? Because I might just help him. Let me, let me check this out, because I'm pretty, pretty sure if I don't click it now, I'm not going to click it later. Because I'm going to forget. So, if you're watching this battle, here's a here's a, here's a a little... Uh, here's a preview of uh, Just Hydro Rest Un Povron's channel. Back to the battle. Uh, Alright. So... I have X scissor for this leafy yarn, but let's go ahead and switch out because I kind of want to save my uh, Doctor Kill. Let's switch out into a special attacker, and the only special attacker I have is this guy. We do have roots though, so I mean, I don't. It's not really a bad thing. I can get, I can take the rock damage, and on top of that, uh, or is this grass times four? So, by all means, I can take the rock damage and then roost it back up. Mega Evolution Cotton Guard. So he's gonna switch out into Sylveon. This is not the best idea. Because although I'm a fairy type, Sylveon still wrecks me because I'm part dragon. So a special fairy type attack. Nobody on my team can eat that up. So let's go ahead and go out to Sky Reaper. What the fuck was that? What the fuck was that? I didn't get a chance to get my rocks up. Oh, okay. I just kind of got scared. He is a specially defensive monster, so we're going to want to hit him on the physical side. Earthquake? Nah. Yeah, probably rocking leftovers. Let's go out into... Hmm. I probably just have to rebuild a whole new team because this team is just not that good. Uh, let's go for a... Let's go for the stab. Oh, wait, wait a minute. I'm probably gonna predict that and switch out into Talonflame. Let's go for the knockoff. I know it's dark and it's resisted, but predicting him to switch out into something, aka this, 
There's that huge power I like. He's knocked off the life orb, so that's good. A leaf blade would probably still kill me. A leaf blade would, a leaf blade would still probably kill me. So let's go out into heaven and uh, predict the grass type move. And then once he does attack, I'm gonna go for the roost, and he's gonna switch into uh, Sylveon. That's fine with me. I just want to get a roost up. So he stays in and goes for the leaf blade. I guess he predicted me to switch out, but now I was actually going for the roost. Uh, let's go for another roost. If okay, so this thing is not switching out, so I might as well just go ahead and try to kill it with a hyper voice. Goes for another leaf blade and it takes me down to a good 81%. But Sylveon's coming back out now, so now it's the time for me to switch out. What did I have out before? Who's the most specially defensive? Niggas be 222, hips don't lie, 180. You 251. You. So actually. Robocop. So Sylveon's going to Robocop and see if we can paralyze this thing. Did he? What the fuck was the dude? Fuck you, Kiki Mato. Um, hmm. predicted me to switch out. Probably HP ground. Four times, four times. Uh, you know, all that good shit. So let's actually go out and uh, Uncle Bad Touch and an Earthquake. No wait, that was the one I fucked up before. Let's go for a knockoff. All right, please come on the Tyler Dance, Tyler Flame. Ooh, that's so beautiful. Knocked off the sharp beat. Uh, his priority is probably, probably running that Gale Wings priority uh, Brave Bird. But I have a priority of my own. And even if you do hit me, even if you get your attack off first, if you do go for Brave Bird, uh, you should probably still die from the Brave Bird damage on top of Rocky Helmet. But, okay, so yeah, this thing is dead. Oh, I actually live, though. So I'm free to get a quick attack off on something. So he sends out the slow, bro. Slowbro's the Mega. So let's just uh, quick attack this thing. I mean, I'm going to die due to Life Orb and whatever this guy wants to go for as far as an attack. He predicted that. Okay, I should have probably went for the Earthquake. Um, it's plus two defense. Ooh. Mm. Hmm. I could roar him out. Because uh, Hips Don't Lie can actually eat up some attacks. He's not he's not that bad uh, defensively or specially. Oh, his defense is crazy. Special defense, not so much. His, his defense is crazy and his special defense is uh, kind of sane. So let's go for a roar, predicting him to go for another iron defense. He goes for the skull. I kind of knew I was going to live it. I don't know why I knew I was going to live it. I just knew I was going to live it. Uh, Sylveon is going to come out and Sylveon is definitely going to um, kill me. Let's go for a Toxic. Just in case it decides, you know, do anything else. And there's the hyper voice. I fucking hate this. I hate this. Um, I do outspeed, but I don't have anything for a fairy type. So I think my best bet is to probably go for Aqua Jet because he resists. I think he resists Bug. I'm not sure, but it's not Stab. I'm rocking Adaptability, so it's a possible chance with a crit I could kill this thing. No, not even with the crit. There's the hyper voice, and I'm going down. Sorry, Altaria. Oh, he is rocking Luftovers. Oh, he is. No, that was sandstorm damage. Okay. I don't think I'm gonna win. Good game, uh, Kiki Mato. Let's go for. The only thing we can't go for is a hyper voice. All right, and uh, that was definitely the second battle. So yes, good game, Kiki Mato. And uh, tune in, watch the battle if you want to. You're done. Huh? Uh, but thank you guys for watching. Like this video if you like this video. Subscribe if you want to know exactly when the next installment of Pokemon Showdown will be dropping. And with that being said, I appreciate all my heavy hitters for keeping it heavy with us. Heavy out.